Quantum computers will be fundamentally different from next-generation smartphones or other personal devices. In a quantum computer, the basic building blocks are qubits, which replace the bits of ordinary computers. No one yet knows which technology will power large-scale quantum devices of the future. But whatever its foundation, a functional quantum computer must wield immaculate control over many thousands of qubits. This will allow for information processing operations like qubit entanglement, error correction, and quantum measurement. Scientists have shown that trapped ions, which are isolated, electrically charged atoms, make for excellent qubits. This kind of research has paved the way for a quantum computer prototype. Like an ordinary bit, a qubit can be a 1 or a 0. A qubit differs from a bit because it can also be in combinations of these two states. An ion qubit is made from two of its energy levels. Ions of the same type are identical, so adding more qubits is simple. You just need to add more ions to the system. This is a major plus because a quantum computer will need lots and lots of qubits. Qubits must be configured in certain quantum states in order to perform quantum tasks. In an ion trap, Taylor laser pulses can change the energy of an ion, setting it into qubit state 1, 0, or a combination of the two. The qubit's surrounding environment sometimes sneaks in and destroys the qubit's state, a covert act that can ruin a computation. But some ion energy levels are naturally isolated and scientists have come up with clever ways of adding in extra layers of protection. Quantum computer calculations are made from steps called logic gates. This will often involve more than one qubit, which means the qubits should be connected in some way. In an ion trap, neighboring ion qubits are connected through their collective motion. This happens because of their electrical repulsion. Laser pulses target the motion, enabling gates between any pair of qubits. To get the result of a calculation, scientists need to tell whether a qubit is in state 1 or 0. Shining laser pulses onto the ions makes only one of the two qubit levels fluoresce. So the result, light or no light, gives information about the calculation. Because many qubits are needed, quantum devices must be designed to be scalable. Researchers can only cram so many ions next to each other in a single ion trap before they get too unruly. But with modules, each containing tens or hundreds of ions, they can start to wire up a large-scale quantum computer. Light from individual ion modules can be collected, allowing ion qubits from separate modules to communicate using photons rather than their motion. So far, scientists have wired up two such modules, and they are getting ready to deploy larger devices using several more.